To start sewing our blues on sweater, we must first pin the shoulder and side seams. Make sure your fabric is laid out nicely so that all your pins will be even. Sew the sides together. Take your neckline binding, fold it in half widthwise, pin and iron. Fold this in half and mark the center. Then take your binding and line up the center of it with the center back. As you pin the binding to the neckline, stretch it bit by bit. As you see, if we pull and stretch the binding a lot, there will be gathering on the bodice. To avoid this, slowly and carefully pull as you pin. In the end, my binding will be one inch longer than the neckline. Repeat on the other side. If you are not sure about your pinning, you can always do a basting stitch before sewing it to secure your pinning in place. When you're satisfied with your pinning, we can sew. Sew your neckline in place slowly, taking the pins out one at a time. This is how it looks finished. Take your binding right sides together and match up the seams. Pin the two pieces together. Then cut at an angle to continue the straight line of the bodice. and serge. To hide your serger thread, you can take the thread and using an embroidery needle, place it into the threads of the seam, pulling it through, and cut off the excess. This is how the finished neckline looks like. Fold your sleeve cuffs in half widthwise. To make them slimmer at the bottom and wider at the opening to the sleeve, I will draw a line starting half an inch at the bottom of the folded edge, tapering off at the top corner. and cut. Open this up and fold it in half the other way, matching your cut.
Search that side. To make our puffy balloon sleeves, we take the sleeve and at the bottom of the sleeve we need to make six one inch deep folds. Place them evenly around the sleeve. I prefer to not put them on the inside of the sleeve, instead I put them close to the top seam. Flip your sleeve inside out. Take your finished cuff and place it inside the sleeve, matching the side seams and pin. Stretch the cuff and pin together. The center of the cuff should match the center of the sleeve. You can either gather all around with a sewing machine or hand stitch but I'm using a small pleat. Sew them together, stretching the cuff evenly to fit the sleeve. Tie a knot to secure the thread. This is the finished result. Do the same to the other sleeve. Here are our lovely finished balloon sleeves. Fold the hem in one inch and pin all around to make sure it's even. Press this fold. Press the center front seam, press the neck binding, press the v-neck, and press the shoulder seams. Then, take your folded hem and sew it in place.